Greetings, Cryptopians. Welcome to Cryptopia. We've got up and down action. My last video, I spoke about watch out for October 29th, the Bitcoin CME futures closing date, last Friday of every month. Bitcoin's history, this whole cycle of 2021 has been basically that it dumps down towards it. That's mainly what these big red cascading falls are. Changed a little in July, but the structure is still similar. It was just pushed back about a week. A little different in August, but it's, it's still kind of there. And then uh, right back on track for September, right? September 7th started a massive crash all the way down to the futures date. Pump away from it. If you haven't been watching my videos, I don't want to keep talking about this, but with every one of these dumps, there's a giant pump. People say, why don't you talk about the pumps more often? Uh, the problem with the pumps for me is that sometimes they come out of nowhere, like the B-Word conference right here. I, I had no idea that was coming. And then uh, Jerome Powell says something in a meeting about not banning Bitcoin. That causes a pump. And then this latest pump here from about 47 is uh, basically, in my opinion, buy the rumor, sell the news event concerning the ETFs. These are not legitimate Bitcoin ETFs. These are, are false Bitcoin. In other words, it's not Bitcoin that's actually being used. It's a futures-based products, ETF products. And I don't know if futures-based stuff is what any of us really want. Those of us that want Bitcoin to go up in price over time, because that's what these red things are. are. That's kind of what my channel has been about lately, this trend, the CME market, the futures market. The monthly closures of Bitcoin, there's these giant red crashes down to it. And we kind of saw that starting yesterday, right after I made my video warning about the, the ETF news hype. Watch out for the buy the rumor, sell the news. It was close to 58,000 when I made that video. And, and shortly thereafter, dumped all the way to 53,700. It's come back up. So it's kind of interesting structure here. We've got these big, giant, wicks on top this is actually a gravestone doji it was printed october 8th these close open it open and close at 7 p.m central time this is this is a daily chart this is a bearish wick these are this whole this whole five here basically four of them have these bearish wicks now this isn't you know a certainty this really doesn't mean anything but when you look back in history the big crashes usually come with the big bearish wicks with the exception of the one September 7th, there's really not much of a wick on top there. But anyways, traditionally, these are bearish wicks. And now these last two are bullish wicks. So uh, October 12th, that, that dump down was was trying to start, and the bulls took back over and said, no, 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 we're pushing the price back up. And then, then the bears took back over. No, yes, 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 we're going down. And then uh, back, back up, 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 up. So... Those of you new to this, the red and the green really doesn't mean that much. Um, like this green wick that we're on right now, started out green and it turned red. And now it came back up, so it's green again. So got to wait till 7 p.m. Central Time to see if this closes, right? It, it might close down here. It might be, a, might be a little tiny or no wick on the bottom. Just have to wait and see. But uh, if this stays similar to how it is, that's kind of a... a a bolus, traditionally bolus type wick. And uh, so I don't know, it's kind of mixed signals, right? Kind of trappy, trappy for the traders out there. I see some comments uh, uh, asking this and that, but the problem is, is I can't talk to everyone individually in videos, right? There's a hundred, there's probably thousands of different angles to look at this, right? Uh, so there's traders out there and there's hodlers and there's this and that and shorts and longs and blah, 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 blah. You just look at it from so many different angles. So uh, I see a question. How can you call these bull traps when it goes over, when it goes up, when the price of Bitcoin goes up historically over time? Well, for investors, it's not that big of a deal. Like if you, if you bought Bitcoin today, if you just dollar cost average and bought $10 every day, you'd probably be doing really good over time, 
you know, even if you bought the top of every one of these, right? Because you'd be buying the bottoms too. You'd be buying all through back 2020 when it was at 3,000 or 10,000, 9,000, 7,000. I think it was at three, 4,000 or so, March 2020, give or take. But uh, you'd be doing good. You'd be doing really good. But that's just investors. So what these are as traders, there's a big deal on cryptocurrency. The social media gets people into, into day trading swing trading just trading with leverage and margin that's where you take out a loan from a site and uh so you have a hundred dollars and you go 10x so it's a thousand dollars and then they get liquidated and they lose all their money right so basically these big green pumps not so much here in december january we're starting in january this red dump is, is basically a long squeeze and then well, let's get away from this is elon musk so let's get away from that but anyway so it's like february this is kind of a short squeeze and then the red is a long squeeze give or take and there's a lot of other stuff that goes into it but the main problem with the public getting getting gouged is they're putting in these real high leverage longs buying the tops right and then boom and then people are probably short in here, and it's a short squeeze back up, and a long squeeze back down, and a short squeeze back up, and a long squeeze back down, short squeeze, long squeeze. And then this here, July, I haven't looked at any numbers or any data or anything, but I would assume this is probably one of the biggest short squeezes in the history of Bitcoin coming off this B-word conference when, when it looked like the market cycle wanted to dump down. But... uh Anyways, right, and then a little long squeeze, and then another short squeeze, and long squeeze, another short squeeze, long squeeze, long squeeze, short squeeze, long squeeze, and then I'm sure this Jerome Powell uh, hype pump here probably was another good short squeeze. Lots and lots of leverage is through here, without a doubt. There's a lot of, a lot of high leverage longs in here. So if they take profit, it's likely to dump down. And Bitcoin's being manipulated intentionally is being manipulated. I don't know if a lot of channels out there are telling you about this. So like the big boys, they're they're playing the futures market and, and they want to cause pain in the futures on the CME market. That's not this market, but this market decides the price. So they'll come over here and they'll manipulate this price down. Generally, they'll manipulate it down towards the, the, the futures date. And... Uh, so there's lots of high leverage in here, right? And if they and if they take profit, well, I say they, you know, the comp, let's just say the composite man. If the composite man takes profit, that will create a long squeeze from the the lesser experienced people who don't understand it's about to crash on their face, and also it'll trigger stop loss orders on the way down, and then also from investors that are kind of new or even fair kind of experience they'll, you know they'll see it dumping so they'll just maybe straight sell their bitcoin right because they can't handle watching it go down you know 10 percent an hour and 10 percent an hour later and, you know and uh, then they're down here at 30 percent and they panic sell the bottom and then it pumps back up starting november right so i don't know it's kind of it's kind of kind of got mixed signals through here but i would still watch out for let's see Let's put a vertical line on October 29th is here. Watch out for that date. So history of 2021 and Bitcoin has basically been kind of something like this, right? Boom. And then it's, it's not, it's not exact date, but in this area here and then and then watch out for the early November. Start pumping back up, right? So I don't know how high or how low it'll go, but that's basically right there. That's basically the structure, right? See how this working? Maybe it won't come down that low. I don't know. No one knows for sure. Maybe it only comes down to say like, like here, right? And then and it comes back up or. Who knows for sure, but maybe maybe it comes down even further. Or because this is mixed signals and lots of hype around the the ETF news. There's multiple ETFs out there, but they're all futures based products. Let me know in the comments section 
if you know of one that isn't futures based, I'm pretty sure the SEC and Gary Gensler is not going to approve a legitimate Bitcoin future, uh, Bitcoin ETF in the near future. It, it likely won't be for a couple years. Could be wrong about that. But Gary Gensler knows blockchain technology in and out. And if they don't think it's safe, right, if they can't guarantee investors safety, then they're not going to touch it with a 10 foot pole. So that's why you're seeing these futures products and these other ETF products, you know, like, like uh, groups of stocks in, in companies that own Bitcoin, like a Tesla and a, you know, the, like a micro strategy and other companies that own Bitcoin. That's kind of like the ETFs you're seeing groups of stocks traded on the traditional stock exchange of those companies, ETFs on the stock exchange. But it's not a legitimate Bitcoin, right? You're not getting real Bitcoin. So that's the real ETF that's good news for Bitcoin. In my opinion, these futures-based ETFs and these corporation, uh, company, other entity ETFs that aren't Bitcoin, I don't know. I think it might be actually negative. Even, you know, down the road, you know, just forgetting about this possible buy the rumor, sell the news forget about this like you know i mean it's kind of the futures market that is causing lots of this manipulation of bitcoin right and just watch out for the dump down towards this blue line october 29th yeah maybe it dumps down to october 26th and then starts pumping or maybe it dumps to you know october 31st or november 2nd you know and then starts pumping it's not it's not an exact exact thing but it's over and over and over and over and over. There it is. So, so uh, just watch out for that. So, could it pump higher? It could. With, like I was saying, with the with the hype around the ETFs, may, maybe maybe it has room to come up to sixty. Uh, I don't think so, but it could. You know, if it comes through sixty, maybe maybe it comes up to test all time new high. But uh, if that happens, then really, really, really watch out for the dump. <laughs> Because that's going to be a lot of leverage and a lot of steam that needs to be released. So, uh, anyways, just just know that this is lots of leverage, lots and lots and lots and lots of leverage. And if it pops, it's going to pop. So, uh, anyways, something to think about. Let me know in the comment section what kinds of what kinds of videos you like to hear about and. Uh, I was going to talk about some news. I'll save that for another video. I'll let you get going. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a good day.